All right, guys, let's play around a little bit with Powtoon and see what we can do with this. It's a software, web-based software program that we can use to make little fun videos that are animated and a little bit more interesting than just a regular screencast video. Now with Powtoons, you can use a template like I did on this first little slide here. So when I hit play here, got some animations and things that popped up there. And what I did is I just changed the text of the template that it gave me to start with uh, to create that first slide. The other slides I did, uh, use the blank slide to move through those. So let's take a look at some of the other things that we can add. We can add text to our slides. So I've added text here and inside the settings, you can change the size of the font, the color of the font. Uh, one of the coolest things is the effect on how the words are gonna show up. You can make it look like it's writing like it did on that first one, appear by word, uh, pop in there, a letter at a time. So we've got that set of text here and then we've got another set of text, which I'm gonna slide back here. And this one's gonna appear a different way. So if I drag this back to the beginning and hit play, we'll preview that slide. So there you go, you can add text, you can have the text appear, you know, as the sound is going there. You notice you got, I've got music there, I've added sound to my little Powtoon slideshow through the add music. Uh, we can also embed a video, so if you've got a screencast of a video walking through uh, steps to some kind of uh, activity that you want to show your students, you can put that, embed that here into the Powtoon video. We can also add characters and props over here, the characters tab on the far right. There are quite a few that are available for free. Uh, and then of course, you know, you could sign up for pro if you want to get a whole lot more cool things. But uh, everything that is in this one that I've made today is with the free uh, options that are available. I do not have a pro account at all. So inside here, you can see we have lots of different options for different characters and the characters have different animations. If we mouse over them here, we'll see the different animations that come up. So these characters that I have in here, once I have them in the slideshow, I can also change their animation. So if we wanna change him from thinking to something else, we could. We've got a construction worker and his animation is currently set to angry. And we have a lady here at a desk. Uh, what I did is I set her animation to typing and it put her in that position. And then I went over to props and I pulled out a desk and a computer and a chair and set those over here. And you gotta kind of play with those and get them all lined up the way you want them there. Um, a tip on this is you can hold down control and the arrow key to change the layering of those. For instance, if I put my desk down here and my desk is all the way at the front where it's covering everything up, I can hold down control and press the down arrow until I get my desk back there where I want it in the frame. So I'll drag this little arrow back to the beginning of the slide and preview this slide. So all my characters are moving, doing what they want there. Just playing with characters and props a little bit more here. They had some medical professionals that you could use. So we've got a couple doctors here and a chair. You know, one of the animations for the guy was to have him sleep in. So then I pulled a chair in from the props and put the chair in front of him, found a little spaceship in the props, thought we'd play with that. So let's pull that back here and see what that looks like. So we got lots of different options for the props. Uh, definitely there's some stuff available for free that you can play with here in the basic free category. Uh, we've got technology related things. We've got cameras, microphones, computer related, office things. Okay, lots of stuff here, chairs, symbols, hearts, food. Let's throw a fire in there. Let's see what that does. Let's see if it has any kind of animation to it. Just pops up, but there you go. So if you're you know, telling stories around a campfire in your video, you can throw in a campfire there. Uh, you can also embed images. So for this slot, I went to images and I uploaded an image and I put this image in here. You know, maybe you've got a map or a graph or a chart or something for a concept that you wanna explain. You can embed that image into your Powtoon slide as well. All right, so we've got all this uh, 
set up here. Let's go back to the beginning and let's drag this back. And up at the top right, it says preview and export. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit preview and watch this. By the way, export, you can upload your finished videos to YouTube on the free account. And everybody that's a teacher in Princeton ISD has a YouTube account inside your, as a part of your PrincetonISD.net Gmail, uh, you do have a YouTube channel there that you can create. So let's take a look at this video. All right, so there we go. I know some of you have already made Powtoon videos. So if you've got a cool Powtoon video that you're willing to uh, reply all to this email or post in the comments on YouTube here and show us some cool Powtoon videos that you've made that are related to your content and we can see some good examples of how you were able to use this for your kids, uh, it'd be great if you'd be willing to share that with us. So again, Powtoons was free. I set that up for free. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is in the sound, you can also record a voiceover. So if you've got a voiceover explaining some type of activity that you're working on, you can insert that voiceover to this video as well, which is probably going to be about the most uh, normal way that you're going to use it is with your voiceover explaining a concept that you want your students to understand. Let's look at one more thing before we wrap this up. Let's look at uh, sharing out our video, publishing our video. So we're going to save our progress here. This one I've already hit the publish button on. So yours is going to say export. When I hit export there where mine said publish, uh, this is where we're going to get our options to share this. And this should say uh, YouTube. I thought for sure this should say YouTube. Uh, it is a premium feature to download a video file of it. Um, but what we can do is we can upload it to our personal Powtoon account page. So when we upload this to our Powtoon account page, we're going to pick a category, make it private or public or whatever, give it a video, give the video a title name. Next, choose the quality. You can get a 720p video. And this is going to publish to my Powtoons account. Uh, and from here, I can get a link to share it if I need to share it in Google Classroom. There you go. I just copied that link. And now I'm going to be able to go paste it in Google Classroom to share this uh, video with my, with my students. Now I have emailed customer support to find out about uh, sharing this to YouTube uh, on a free account. We're supposed to be able to connect it to YouTube. So I will update you as soon as I find out more about that.